Yes, thank you. Yes, I have a new project, and it's different than anything I've done before. This is a project initially for the web, and it is something I am producing myself. This is something, the first thing that I have created myself from the ground up, um, and I'm hoping people find it. It's, it's, I think it's hilarious. It's called Husbands. Uh, people can find out more at husbandstheseries.com, and it's the first marriage equality comedy. Uh, and this started with me and my friend Brad Bell, who co-wrote the script with me, and who you may know as Cheeks. And Cheeks could talk more about the evolution of the idea, how we came up with this notion, because this really started with you. Well, yeah, we, um, I had come to you with a script that was more of like a Will and Grace kind of a story, and that it was a guy and his gal pal, and it was kind of ab fab based. And then uh, I think we were talking about some what was I love Lucy or like some really classic sitcom sort of scenario where all of a sudden it kind of struck us that that's a much fresher idea and that's what hasn't really been done yet is the romantic comedy that's you know mad about you with two guys so kind of evolved from there I was just brought in last week um, <laughs> I after so the story goes after about a month of looking for me to for my part to be filled they I was the last guy they auditioned and, and pulled me in and and then I just got onto the ride and kept going with it for this whole last week or two weeks now it's actually been We came up with the story first that the idea of that these two guys who are already sort of publicly known, they've already got public personae, they wake up married in Vegas and they realize they don't want to be a public embarrassing divorce, so they have to stay married. So that's sort of that's sort of where we started. We already had that. Cheeks wrote the first draft. I keep I'm calling him both Cheeks and Brad Bell. He is both. Um, and Cheeks wrote the first draft, and it was so funny. It was written with such a fresh voice and such amazing jokes that all I had to do was sort of go through and sort of add more standard television, television structure and do a little bit of sort of character consistency pass, and we had a script. Like, we had a script that I was incredibly proud of, um, and we worked with that, and we worked with it, and we, we heard it as guys came in who weren't, her weren't quite you, but we're getting us on the path to finding Sean. We were hearing the scenes read over and over, so we kept polishing and writing, and Cheeks would do a pass, and I would do a pass, and we ended up with a script that we think was, like, like so sharp. Then we got Sean. Then we did a table read um, where I brought in colleagues of mine from sitcoms, and we actually got them helping uh, to pitch jokes, so even jokes that were already good, like, got better. And now we've ended up with a product that we think is just, like, it is, it is so ready for television, um, but television's not ready for it. So we're going to do it our way. <laughs> well, I think the idea is to prove that there is a market for something because, you know, uh, the way marketing works is that they want to look at something that's working that somebody else has already done. But that's not how you get something that's groundbreaking or something that's, you know, new or fresh or, you know, nobody saw coming. You identify a market that doesn't really have a supply. And so by putting it online, you can, you can prove, look, this works. This is a formula that clearly people want. There's demand for this. And I think after that point, people are more willing to take a risk and say, oh, okay, you know, so this is how it's, how it's, you know, it works. It just occurred to me, you just said all that really, really smart stuff with a bridal veil on your head. <laughs> like, well, they're, they're, they're dressed sort of to attract attention here at Comic-Con yeah. to promote the, the, the show. They won't actually look like this exactly in the show. <laughs> well, and that's what's amazing is that we walk around and we're getting huge grins and, oh my God, can I take your picture? I love this. This is amazing. And so just by walking around with a bridal veil on my head, Holding hands you know, you might, you might think that's a risk on, you know, bigger markets, but really people are resonating with it and they love the idea and they want to support it because of what it represents at a higher level, I think. We are thinking of this as sort of a classic NBC sitcom. Um, we're not trying to be shocking or provocative. We wouldn't show anything that you wouldn't show in, on Mad About You. You know, it's, it, this is a very traditional, but we think extremely funny, take on newlywed comedy. Um, we can do, you know, the way I was, I was a writer on the final season of Ellen, and we felt this great freedom because she was out and we could tell stories that hadn't been told before. We're going to have that. But we're not going to be shocking. We're not trying to. We don't want to piss anybody off. We want to. We want to tell funny stories about newlyweds and the stuff they go through. And the fact that it's two guys, it's not quite incidental, but it's not the point. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not the pivot on which every story hangs. And I think we're at the point 
right now where that's just becoming possible. We start shooting in two weeks. Uh, we're going to shoot two weekends. We'll have 22 minutes shot, so it'll be sort of pilot length. Um, we're going to air it as 11 two-minute pieces, but we're also going to put it available as a 22-minute watch a pilot presentation uh, version, and that we expect to go up in September. We're still researching relative to when TV shows premiere, what's the perfect premiere day, but we will have it ready in September. Husbandsthe-series.com. So everyone should look there.